friends and family, man. Ow. We're here at the fire museum in North Charleston, South Carolina, and we get to learn all about fire trucks. It's gonna be great. Come on, let's go have some fun. like the ladder on a fire truck. Oh, come on, let's go up it. Oh, it's like we're climbing it up, going to the top of the house to fight a fire. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is really cool. And look, they've even got a firefighter pole. Oh, I can't wait to slide down this. Do you know the firefighters have these so they can get down and get to the fire truck really, really, really quick. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's see. So we got to sit down and grab the pole. All right, and then we got to wrap our legs around it. And then we have to scoot forward and slide down. Well, this is gonna be awesome. Come on, let's go. All right, sit down, grab the pole, feet around it, scoot forward and slide down. Oh, woo, isn't that great? Isn't it so cool that we get that like a firefighter coming down a pole? It's awesome. Check this out. Right here, they have all different kinds of tools that a firefighter uses on his truck. Isn't that great? Oh, let's see, they've got a pipe bowl in here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, this is it right here, I think. Yeah, that's great. Oh, let's see. Oh, they've got a sledgehammer. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, I think I know which one that is. Let's see. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, let's push that button. Yeah, that's right. That's amazing. Oh, it's a really interesting things in here. Oh, I wonder what a pick head is. Mm, let's see. Um, oh, maybe this one. Oh, that's right. It even looks like an ax. How cool is that? Oh, and you know how I love learning about new tools? And look, they even got a slide. So of course, we gotta check it out. Come on, let's go. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is gonna be great. Oh, of course, you know what we have to use. Oh, yeah. Handyman Al, super slide spray. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, oh, oh we gotta turn it on. There it goes. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Oh, I love slides. Oh, all right, so we got it in there. Let's wipe it down. Okay, let's wipe it down. Okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, hold on. We gotta get in here really good. Okay. Oh, really good. Okay. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look, look at all of these patches. These patches are from fire stations all over the country. You know that each fire station has their own distinct patch. They come in all different, in different shapes and designs. Well, oh, that one even has a, a soldier on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see, what can we find in here? Oh, let's see, oh, those are really, really cool. That one's got a fire hat on it. That was cool. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh. oh, and look, this one even has the shape of our state, South Carolina. Oh, and it's from Myrtle Beach. That's really cool. These are really interesting. Oh, I wonder if I can make me a patch. Come on, let's go. Now we get to make our own firefighter patch. How cool is that? Oh, this machine does it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, let's see. We gotta read the instructions before you begin. Firefighters wear special patches to represent their departments. Oh, that's cool. You can make your own patches. You can print and wear on home. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, there we go. Start button. All right, let's see here. We get to choose our shape. What kind of shape? We got a round one. That one looks kind of cool. There's an oval one. Oh, that looks like a shield. Oh, that's cool. I wonder which one. Oh, maybe we should get this one right here. This one looks really, really cool. How about that? Oh, that's great. Let's see. Let's go to the next button. Oh, I can choose my color. This is hard. Oh, I got two favorite colors. Let's see, we could do a blue one. Oh, that's great. Check that out. We just slide it across it. Oh, we could do, oh, look, an orange one. Oh, maybe we're gonna have to go with orange. I like that. Oh, let's see, next button. Let's see, oh, the inside. Oh, so now we can choose blue. Oh, it's great. Oh, that's great, right? Next. All right, now we see. 
type your name. Oh yeah. Let's see. There's an H in our name. Let's see. There's an A and an L. Oh, look at that. It says how. That's me. All right, we can say done. Let's see here. Oh, Hasnack Public Safety Badge Squad. Oh, let's see. Do we want to be public safety? The brigade. Oh, that's kind of cool. Squad. What else is in here? Let's see. Oh, fire department. That's cool. Oh, well, let's do the squad. I like the squad. It's the house squad. <laughs> All right, so next. Oh, we get to choose a, let's see, a picture on there. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got a firefighter on there. Oh, yeah. Putting a fire out. Oh, and that's even got a fire. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, there's a fire truck. Oh, I like that one. You like that one? Does that look good? Oh, uh, I think we're good with that one. Now, we just got to hit the print button. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Your patch is being printed. Please wait a few moments. All right, we're going to wait. Let's go. Oh, look. I think it's already come out. Look at that. It's our patch. Oh, it's really cool. There's a lot of fire engines here. Do you know, they've got over 20 fire engines from over 10 decades. That's a lot, and a lot of engines. <laughs> Do you know that these trucks are fully operational and fully restored? So you know what that means? That means you can get in them right now and go driving down the road and go fight fires, just like they did when they were made. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I wonder if we can get in it right now. Which one I would choose? Ooh, that's a hard decision. Oh, well, look at this fire truck. Uh huh. This is really cool. This is a fire truck simulator. Uh -huh. That is really awesome. Let's check out the inside. Oh, let's check out back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all this. This is the back part of the fire truck. This is called the jump seats. Oh, how cool is that? This is where all the other firefighters sit whenever they're racing down the road to get to the emergency. This is really cool, right? Oh, we got some really cool buttons back here. Oh, that's cool. We got some really cool lights. Oh, it's cool. Come on. See what else we can find. Oh, oh. From one side to the other. Oh, look. They even got the lights. Oh, yep. Yeah. And the mirrors. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they even got the lights on the top. Oh, this is going to be great. Come on, let's go get in the driver's seat. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be really cool. Have you ever been inside of a fire truck before? Oh yeah. Oh, look, <laughs> it's like I'm the captain and I'm driving the fire truck. Isn't this really, really cool? Of course, we got our steering wheel. We got our horn. <laughs> oh, that great. Oh, we got all these kind of controls here. Oh yep. Yeah. let's see here. Oh, and then we've got some buttons up here. It actually turns our lights on. <laughs> oh, and look. This is where we touch to start the simulation. Here we go. It says, stand by, your call is coming in. Oh, can you hear it? 86 major, six major accident, 2603 up this road. Oh, wow. 86 major accident, 2603 It's an accident. Oh, oh this is going to be great. Right here. Oh, wow. Oh, and look, it says press the blue flashing light to start the engine. And there it is. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. When you can even see it. Oh, the seat's vibrating. Oh, yeah. Listen. Oh, and the gate's going up. Oh, I guess time to go. We gotta go to the emergency. So now we just need our sirens and our horn. And the still there. You ready? Here we go. There it is. And the air horn. Oh, that's great. Oh. And we just got to go. Let's go to the emergency. Oh. This is great. Oh. It's like I'm a real firefighter. Oh. Handyman, help to the rescue. Oh, yeah. 
Watch out everybody, we're coming through! We gotta get to the emergency! Oh, oh yeah, we gotta look at the red lights and make sure we can get through. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Watch out the way! <laughs> We're getting there! <laughs> we gotta get through the city a little bit! <laughs> and we're on the interstate! <laughs> we gotta get off right here! And we're gonna turn a little bit! Oh yeah, around this curve! Watch out folks! We're going to an emergency! Oh, being a firefighter is so awesome! <laughs> oh yeah! I think we're almost there. Oh, let's see. Yep, yep, we gotta turn right here. Oh, 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 yes. Here we go. Oh, it looks like it was a car accident. All right, so now we're here. We gotta get out and take care of the emergency. Come on, let's go. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, have you ever wondered where fire trucks actually get their water from? It's from fire hydrants. Check this out. Oh, yep. You can even see the inside of this one. Look at it. It's really cool. There's water and pipes down below in the ground. And this is where the water comes from. And of course, firefighters have got to have some really, really cool tools. Check those out. To actually open and close the fire hydrant. And then they've got these really cool hoses and attach to the back of the fire truck. Oh, that's where they get their water from. And then they have these really cool valves. Oh, that open and close. Oh, yep. So they gotta know what they're doing and they got some really cool tools to work with it. Isn't that awesome? Oh wow, isn't this place really interesting? They've got all kinds of really cool information about fire trucks and how they work. Like this is called water on wheels. It tells you about how the water goes from inside the truck and it pumps it out through the hoses. Check this out. Look at all these hoses. Oh, we've got a big hose here. Oh wow. Oh, we even got a medium-sized hose, oh, and then even a small one. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, and they actually tell and simulate how many pounds of pressure that each hose has. This one has 300 pounds of pressure. Oh, that's a lot. Let's see. Let's see if I can hold it. Oh, oh see? Oh, wow. Oh, oh you got to be really, really strong to hold that hose. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. In the middle one here, let's see. This is 175 pounds. Oh, oh, I think I got that. That's easy there. Oh yeah. Then the last one, it's 50 pounds. Oh, I think you probably could do this one. Oh yeah. Check that out. Oh, but still, you gotta have a little bit of strength to hold onto those hoses. Oh, do you remember that time whenever I got to use one of these? Wasn't that great? Oh, it was totally awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah! How cool is this? Oh, that's so awesome! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, we're doing such an awesome job! We're putting this fire out real quick! Oh, cool. Look at this fire truck, come here. Oh, and look at this firefighter. Oh, wonder if he's got anything important to say. Let's see. I gotta tell you, being a firefighter is not for everyone. It takes a lot of physical strength, courage, and the ability to make split second decisions, work together as a team. There are many jobs that take this kind of commitment, but you know, I wouldn't dream of doing anything else. Being a firefighter is one of the most dangerous jobs there is, and occasionally it means risking your life for someone you don't even know. Come see us anytime, and please bring your family and friends. Wow, that was some really important information. You know, it takes a lot of dedication to be a firefighter. Oh, that's great. Oh, let's see what else we can do. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, look at this. This is the ladder on the back of a ladder truck. Oh, and the firefighter stands right there 
and he sprays water right out of that nozzle. That's a big nozzle. Uh -huh. Doesn't fire trucks have some of the coolest parts? Have you ever wondered about those parts before? Oh, we can learn about them right here. Check this out. Oh yeah, this is a really cool fire truck. Well, let's see what we can learn about. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's like where all the gauges and stuff are. Let's see. The water inlet oh. is where the water is sucked into the fire engine through a supply hose, usually connected to oh, look, a fire hydrant a fire or some hydrant. other water source, such as a pond. Although fire engines carry a supply of water on board, larger fires usually require additional water. Oh, wow, that was really cool. That was really interesting. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, we can see. oh, look, I can see the engine in there. Can you see that? Oh, let's see if it has one for that. Oh, it does. Look oh, right here. Oh, here it goes. The engine has to be yeah. durable, powerful, and most of all, reliable at all times, even in the coldest weather. The oh, diesel wow. engine in this truck powers the vehicle, runs the pump, and generates electric power for the lights and rescue equipment. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, let's see. What else? Let's see if we can find one more. Oh, there's a compartment right here. Let's find out what happens right there. Look, right there. Let's push that button there. Let's see. Tool compartment oh, on a fire engine. Is there tools? Spare entry tools? Oh, we love tools. Air supply packs, lights, and extra protective gear. Virtually anything that a firefighter might need in a fire or emergency. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course, firefighters have to have tools too, right? Oh, that's great. Well, let's see what else we can find to do. Come on, let's go. Oh, look at this. This is a firefighter's protective gear. It's their outerwear that helps them from, protect them from the fire. Okay, we've got our jacket. Oh, that's really, really cool. It's kind of heavy though. Oh, and then we got our flash hood. Check that out. It's like a mask almost. It goes on our head up underneath our helmet for, to protect our head and our neck from all of the heat and the fire. Oh, we've got our pants. Look at those, those are cool. Oh, and of course we gotta have our gloves to protect our hands from the fire too. Yep. And our boots. Oh, those are really cool. You actually can see the inside of it. It's cool. Oh, let's see what else we got. Of course, we got to have a firefighter's flashlight. Oh, and an axe. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, and then this really cool thing. This is called a self-contained breathing apparatus. <laughs> it helps us breathe when we're inside of a house where there's smoke. It's really cool. But have you ever wondered how much all this stuff weighs? <laughs> well, this is a weight simulator. <laughs> Did you know that all of this stuff weighs close to a hundred pounds? You think I can lift it? We gotta lift this. We gotta pull on this rope to see if we can lift all this weight. You see? Let's see. Oh, that's about 40, 45. Oh, it's tough. Oh, let's see. Try it one more time. Oh, we almost got there. Oh, that went up to 65. Whew. You gotta really use some muscles for this. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do it. Oh wow, there it went. <laughs> I lifted it up. <laughs> that was great. It's really heavy. That's a lot of equipment. Oh wow. Look at this. This is a fire truck. Oh, it's really cool. Did you know this was made in 1912? Oh wow, that was a long time ago. Oh, you know this is called a Metropolitan Steamer. Oh, and that this engine was pulled by horses. Oh, and the driver would sit up top there and hold on to the reins. Oh, and they'd go to a fire. How cool is that? Oh, look. Look at the big tank. That's where the water goes. That's really interesting. Oh, and look, you can see the bell. Oh, yeah. It's like they're, they're ringing and coming down the road. Watch out the way. There's a fire. We got to go. Oh, and then look at the huge hose right there. Isn't that cool? Oh, I bet you this was awesome. Going to the rescue to put out a fire. Oh, that'd be really cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is really important. This teaches us the importance of dialing 911, but only in an emergency. Oh, like a fire. And of course, if there's no emergency, we don't need to call 911, right? Only if there is an emergency. Like you pick up the phone and you dial 911. Do you know what happens? Check this out. Look, you get sent to a 911 operator. Yep. 
and she takes out all the information of what's going on in the emergency, like if it's a fire, like where the fire is located, uh, what street it's on, or how bad it is, if there's people in the house. She gets all that information, and then you know what she does? She picks up the phone, <laughs> and she calls a dispatcher, right? Oh yeah, and the dispatcher is actually the one that gets in contact by radio to the fire station. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, yep. So they call the fire station, and then of course the firefighters, they radio back and they communicate about all the information, like the address, yeah, and what's going on, how bad it is. And then the firefighters hop in their truck. Oh, this is the cool part. And they get their turn on their lights, oh, and they flash, and they got big sirens to help them go down the road really fast uh -huh. and to get to the fire really fast, right? Because it's an emergency. It's great. Oh, and look, they've even got a time. I wonder how fast it takes them to get from the phone call all the way to the to the emergency. Oh, let's find out. Are you ready? Come on. Oh, can you hear it ringing? Oh, yeah. Is she there? Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, wait, look, the timer started. Oh. Let's see how long it takes. Oh wow, look, it took them a little over four minutes to get to the site, to get to the emergency. Oh, that's really fast. Oh, must be really cool to be a firefighter. Good job, firefighters. What an amazing day we've had today here at the fire museum in North Charleston, South Carolina. It's been great. We've been learning about all different kinds of fire engines, fire trucks, and all of the tools that firemen use, and all the parts of a fire truck. It's great. We even got to slide down a fireman's pole. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, and not to mention the slide. That was great too. Oh, we learned about fire safety, Ooh, and about dialing 911, and when not to dial 911. It was great. We even got to play in the simulator. <laughs> that was really cool. Driving down the road acting like a fireman. <laughs> Great. Oh, and look, I'm feeling like a fireman. So we got our badge. Let's see if we can get on. Hal Squad. I love it. Right there. Oh, yeah. That makes me look official, right? <laughs> well, thank you for watching Handyman How today. I'll see you later. <laughs> Excuse me. We're awesome, 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 awesome. Handyman Hal is your most trusted handyman for all your repair needs. Need an amazing lemonade stand? How about help with learning shapes and colors? Trouble fueling your airplane? Handyman Hal can do it all. No job is too big or small for Handyman Hal. Whether your car wash needs repair or you need to get rid of some expired groceries, you can count on Handyman Hal. Give him a call today. The handyman that's got a plan. Handyman Hal. Handyman Hal is a fun kids show and we want to say thanks for watching.